Hello, my name is Joe. You don't know me, but I was wondering if you could help me. In school over the past few months, we've been studying current events. Maybe I should have known better or been reading the papers, but I've been learning about terrible things happening in places that I didn't even know existed. And the more I read, the more I hear, the more confused and more upset I get. It seems like there are tragedies everywhere. Floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, droughts, and famines. Things my teacher calls natural disasters. Then there are accidents. It seems like every day there's a bus running off the road or a ferry boat sinking or a plane crashing. These are all bad things, terrible tragedies. But at least they are not done on purpose. What really bothers me the most, what really upsets me, is what people do to other people. It seems like there are wars being fought ever. Innocent people getting killed in battles over land, oil, or money. Or stranger still, fighting because people have different ideas about who or what is God. Just as bad are those cases where people die, not because somebody did something, but because nobody did anything. I've learned that millions of people around the world die every year because they didn't have food or clean water or medicine. There's no war where I live. We also have food and water. More than we ever use. We have hospitals and medicines. Somehow, we have so much, and so many people have so little. I've talked to my friends and my teachers and my parents and grandparents. I've asked them to explain to me how people can be so cruel or indifferent to each other. They try to explain, but really, they don't seem to know either. One of my teachers said it was better to light a candle than curse the darkness. I understand what she meant. It's better to try to do something, even something small, instead of just giving up and doing nothing. But what does that actually mean in the real world? I don't really know, but from what I read and heard, I know that you're a very smart person. And even better, a smart person who tries to make a difference who tries to help people. I was hoping that you could answer a few questions for me. I just want to know, why do you think that people treat each other the way they do? Is there something that happened to you that made you want to help people? And finally, what, if anything, do you think one kid can do to make a difference? I know you're really busy, and you probably get bugged by people all the time. But if you could answer my letter, I'd really appreciate it. I'd really like to know. Sincerely, Joe. P.S. Thanks for reading my letter, and I'll understand if you don't write back.